guys, welcome back. Um, I have another encouraging word today. <laughs> I'm being encouraging. I'm being encouraged by these scriptures, so hopefully you are too. You know, in these curious times that we're living in, again, we really have to guard our minds and hearts um, against fear and ask the Lord to really give us that peace of God. And I just um, love this one verse. It's found in Zephaniah, it's Old Testament 3. And it says, uh, Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice in all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your judgment. He has cast out your enemy. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall not see disaster no more. And in that day it shall be said of Jerusalem, Do not fear. Zion, let not your hands be weak. And I love this one. Even though this is a forthcoming prophecy, this is what I hold dear. It says, For the Lord your God is in the midst. He's in the midst. And I keep saying that, like his presence. We have to practice the presence of God in here. The mighty one will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. And he will joy rejoice over you with singing. Isn't that a great picture of the Lord? He's a mighty one. And yet, what does he do over us? He rejoices over us with gladness. He quiets us with his love, and he rejoices over us with singing. And I just thought those are such beautiful attributes of God, even though he's the mighty one in saving us. And, you know, we're in the midst of this. It says that he is in the midst of us. He's with us, you know, and um, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he loves us so much. And so I want to encourage you tonight, you go outside to look up to the stars and know that he created them. In the morning time when you see the sun, just know it's his faithfulness that continues through. And um, there's a real cool hymn that's found in um, Habakkuk. Um, and it's, what chapter is Habakkuk 3? So funny. It's in three. It starts in 317. So you have... Zephaniah 3, 14 through 17, and Habakkuk 17 through 19. And 19 says, the, um, the Lord is my strength, and he'll make my feet like deer's feet, and he'll make me walk on the high places. And it says, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And I think that's really cool because the prophet was saying, hey, I'm going to joy in, rejoice in God. I'm going to joy in who God is. And the prophet Zephaniah says, God is rejoicing in us. We're his kids. He loves us so much. So anyway, I love this song and I'm going to play it. And um, if you know it, sing along um, because let's rejoice in God no matter what's going on. Let's sing praises. And as Paul and Silas did, they sang praises, praises in prison and God rocked that cell. So let's it's called The Song of My Father by Urban Rescue, and my daughter's filming, and if she wants to sing along with me, she can. Ha, ha, ha. I know that 
Father's kingdom rest. Be blessed. Hang in there. Stay faithful to the end.